Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, how's it going? It's nice to see you. Uh, welcome to my humble abode. Now then, uh, I, I hope this is working. I, it was always a bit of a scare at the beginning as to whether it's working, but I'm going to assume it is. Um, unfortunately, today I have no pumpkin, but I have, um, I have a mango, which is which is great, and the mango yes. is going to keep us company. Hello, everybody. Um, um, which is how's it going? Lovely. It's nice I'm to gonna, see you. Uh, clean welcome to my this. humble abode. On here, and uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, so, we are here today to harmonise um, a song called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which is quite lovely. Um, I want to give a massive shout out to, uh, to Bart Orr. Now, Bart is a bit of a superhero figure right now because he started this challenge uh, called the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Challenge. Um, and the way it works is that musicians all over the globe um, harmonise Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, this is a lovely thing because it's bringing musicians together uh, across all disciplines uh, to unite in favour of one of the most legendary songs ever composed. Um, so huge shout out to Bart for being a legend um, and for inspiring us, including me, to, uh, to, to, to give this a shot. I've seen so many amazing submissions. Um, and yeah, there was, there was a sort of a, um, an, an uprising of people who were saying I should do one. And I was very grateful uh, and uh, humoured by this. And so here we are, harmonising this tune. Um, I think we're going to get straight to it because uh, after all, that's what we're here to do. Um, so Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is, uh, is legendary. It's diatonic, um, diatonic and legendary. And, uh, and I suppose there are, there are 24 keys at least to choose from, but I'm gonna choose the key of F, F major, because F is a, is, is a good key. I'm gonna see if this works right now. There you go. Okay, cool. So I think what you should be able to see right now is uh, my Logic screen, which is here, and the, the brand new edition of this, which is my keyboard camera. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I, I sure will. And then, yeah, OBS, which is my streaming application, is is running. I'm going to get that to be lined up there so I can see what's going on. Check check the stream is healthy. Right now it's healthy. Um, super. So I think we should get started, really. If at any point in this stream you feel like a jelly a jelly bean, you have to you have to tell me and then I'll I'll give you one. But uh, for now, let's let's do this thing. Uh, so, welcome to Logic, and this is my harm track. Harm. In the most positive way possible. Um, this is my solo safe narrator track, which is all going to be good. Uh, I'm going to sing a track in... Actually, you know, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the song. Uh, and, uh, and then we can get started from there. So I'm going to... Let me see, I'm going to move this slightly so I can see my top bit and, uh, and and we're off we're off I'm gonna do no click and no counting and we're gonna do something like this Okie dokie. Thank you very much for coming, and I will see you next time. Oh, all right. Um, I, I forgot to harmonize it. I forgot to harmonize it. So here we go. Um, F major, let's see what we can do with this young man. divide this into basically three main sections as you may imagine the first being uh, this this opening motif the second being uh, the, the middle section and the final bit being um, a, a, a reprise of, of our theme our, our thematic material um, and uh, I, I had an idea I was, I was eating my lunch about half an hour ago sort of just thinking about how I was going to do this obviously normally with these live streams I have a, an I harm you type melody to harmonize but this time I'm founding said melody which is actually really exciting so I can make a lot more decisions myself um, and uh, I'm going to actually you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to record a few versions of ideas that I had during during this lunch um, and then we can we can select the our favorite of, of these ideas um, this is the kind of song where there's so much possibility that I'm going to have to slightly control myself. But first of all, I'm going to let all the ideas flow, and then we can uh, we can sort of scale things down from there. 
Um, but I think it's good to start in the key of F major because here we are in F major. F major is, is a great key. Um, and uh, I think I, I have a feeling that, that we, we might be visiting other keys later. Um, later on. But you know, you know, I've had I've had an idea. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna instead of this, I'm gonna record the actual melody with my real voice. Mm. Uh, it's gonna go like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, okay. And I'm going to double it because doubling is cool. Twin, twin, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay. Um. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with the bass. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna free, free flow. And just just see what happens. So I like the feeling of starting with F. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I guess we should plot the basic the basic arrival points. Um, traditionally, I think that this song would start with the key of F, which is here. And potentially a B flat would be implied there, and then back to back to F. I suppose C would be the natural choice here, and F. And that's F. Um, so I think we can spice up that a little bit. Um, and and here goes. I'm gonna stop there and use my harmonic imagination to come up with a, a choice. That'll do as a simple starting point. Um, it might be nice uh, to, to pivot. I, I think I talked about this before in, in one time, but whenever you're on the third, you can always pivot to a different chord. Um, it's a really nice exercise. So the third being uh, this note here. Uh, this is an A, and, and we can we could do something like this. I'm going to record it so we have the idea down. Okay. Um, cool. I, I know I'm probably not going to keep this riff, but the last note of this riff is sharp. Um, about 61 cents. So I'm gonna, sorry, that's actually minus 61. I'm gonna put that down. I'm just inputting the number of cents uh, and I'm gonna slow it down. Okay, that's better, that's better. That'll do. So I'm sort of starting on this one note and then I'm gonna go, that's the plan. Quite nice right now. I quite like that actually. So uh, let me see. 
Uh, yeah, I guess we're averaging about four chords per note here, which is quite quite good actually. Quite a nice healthy number of chords. Um, and uh, for those of you musical uh, theory people, I'm I'm approaching this from from the uh, from the from the flat side of the circle of fifths. That's probably interesting to some people, but we've got D flat, E flat, and F. But uh, basically, and there's an E flat as well in there. I'm, I might keep that because it's nice. Um, so I might just set about recording the bass line. Okie dokie. I wonder if there are any other options of ways we can get to D for this little exertion here. There, there might be. See, that's quite colourful. I might do that. So what we what we're doing there harmonically is um, uh, it's interesting. It's kind of like an A super Lydian uh, chord, which is like this, um, kind of like a like an, like an A seven with a flat nine and a sharp eleven. If you're interested, uh, except that without a dominant seventh, it has actually a major seventh. Something that someone like Claire Fisher might do this. Claire Fisher is one of my favourite arrangers. Um, anyway, here goes. Actually, you know what? We were going to go to D major, weren't we? So maybe. Sustain pedal. Don't think we need you. Okay, well, this is quite fun, really. Uh, this is what we've got so far. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you okay, so that's kind of like the first third done. Uh, I want to do something differently here. So there are two options for this B flat chord. Little. Now one option is that we go and the other option is that we go well there are lots of options, but one other possible option is that we go which has a bit more flavour and, 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 and momentum. Um, so this being B flat major and this being C major over B flat. Yeah. Leave that in for now. Let's listen to the other alternative we had here. Okay, nice. Uh, let's let's record the bass line for here and see how it feels. I might go to A flat there. 
So you got a whole. We have a base, a base area, and of course, base needs an icon because this yellow icon here. I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, luckily for for me in Logic, there are lots of other options of nice things. So for a base, I'm going to go with this like this nice explosive thing. Here, an explosion of bass. That's, that's that's what we have here. Okay. That's probably the next thing I'd I'd suspect. F, I'm going to record this now, and I'm going to need some more tracks. Twin. Oh, I wonder if we can start with a nice sprinkle. Should we start with the sprinkle? I think I think we're going to start with the sprinkle. Sprinkles are fun, um, and for sprinkles, it's like a secret recipe. You need a. You need Glockenspiel, and you need crow tails, which are right here. And what else could we do? We could use some. Uh, we could use some wind chimes, which are behind me. We could use some uh, bells. I have some bells here. Use some bells, and maybe a triangle. A triangle would be nice. So first of all, let's do some glockenspiel. Um, and I'm going to move all of you guys just a little bit later. I'll get to you just one second. Um, and here goes. The sprinkle is going to go like this. Okay, that's the Glock. It's the Crotales. And then the bells. Let me see. Okay, I'll start with start with these bells. These are both uh both uh, both incense containers. Um actually I can do this and show you close up. There you go. Hi. H hello. Um incense containers, uh put on ribbon is a nice thing. And yeah, to my to my great glee, I discovered that these two incense holders are uh, uh, about a perfect fourth apart, give or take a few cents. Fantastic. Um, so then, I'm going to use I'm going to use these microphones here, which are my Mojaves, oh, my trusty Mojaves, and I'm going to turn you back onto this one. And I'm going to make a new track with Mojaves right here, and I'm going to record some bells with a count in. Um, also, luckily, which I realised whilst playing the bells, is that it's in the right key, which is quite a treat. Um, actually, you know what? Sleigh bells, no, no sleigh bells today, but let's do wind chimes. So wind chimes are, I wonder if you can see them if I go here. I think my mic's in the way. Oh, there you go. Great. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to do some of, some of those. Okay, so there they are, and I'm going to add a little bit of delay, but my favourite kind of delay, which is a Sound Toys plugin, called 
crystallizer. Nice. Fantastic. And why not? Just just because it's a just because it's a Friday, I'm gonna I'm gonna pyramid. Um, gonna pyramid on this, but not before we've recorded some triangle. Let me just find the triangle. B R B. Oh. Hi. Um, I need something to hold my triangle with. And you know what I might use? Is the very bells I just recorded. Um, there you go. So, there you go. We're gonna go this. And we're back to there, and... Very nice, very nice. Um, thank you, Triangle, and Bells, thank you, Bells. I've just realised I uh, forgot to turn my fairy lights on, and so I will do so now. There you go. Okay. That's feeling nice, and uh, it's pyramid time, I believe. So here's a track stack called... Pyramid time. It's funny that, isn't it? Because I spelt time like as in the herb or herb if you're from the USA. Um, oh no, you can't even see this. How embarrassing. There you go. Pyramid time. Very, very amusing. Very amusing. Um, and we're going to go something like. Uh, Very, very nice. And I'm going to spread you guys out in a stereo kind of a way. But first of all, let's make sure that you all spread equally. Because after all, we're talking about stars here. That's what we're singing about, stars. Stars are quite quite twinkly by nature. Oh, I forgot to show you that I'm actually wearing my twinkle trousers. Uh, there you go. My twinkle trousers, just especially for the for this, for this, for today. And I'm going to pan. If you watch me pan like this, varying degrees of left and rightness. And all we need to do now is add some reverb. And I'm gonna add some Space Designer, which is all my recent plugins here. And turn up the dry and turn this up and... We have liftoff. We've, uh, we've, we've described the star, which we will then go on to, uh, to sing about, or about which we will then go on to sing. This first note here is slightly flat in this one, and I'd say it's actually about 48 cents flat. That sounds about right. So process and paste, and we're safe. Okay. Just gonna leave those tails on. That's fine. And ooh, twinkle. twinkle. And I'm gonna do something cool with these ones. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a plugin called. CLA 76 stereo, which is, which emulates an analog compressor, which makes these guys sound like they're even better friends than they really are. Twinkle, twinkle, little. So that's a bit of a weird vibe, isn't it? Little star, little star, how I Very nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Twinkle, twinkle. 
Uh, so I'm going to close my pyramid time stack with this shortcut here, and I'm going to add some new tracks here. Twinkle, twing. That kind of thing, right? Twinkle, twing. Okay. And I'm going to pan these bass. I'm going to do bass first. I'm going to pan them left and right, and I'm also going to create some bass tracks with the octave on down because that's a real, it's a real heartwarming thing to do. So this is this is a, a plug called Little Alter Boy, which I use sometimes. Pitch down twelve and form. I'm going to go down about one point two. And if I show you that, ew, maybe you can't hear that so well. I'll show you when I record it. Um, and I'm gonna, we're going to start on, and then we're going to dive into the depths, kind of like the stars looking down upon the earth or something like that. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay. Twinkle. So. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Cool. Twinkle, twinkle. So let's have a listen to those on their own. And now let's listen to them with the octave in addition to the original tracks. Nice, nice. Um, and I'm going to add a plugin on this one, one of my favorite plugins, which is called R Bass, which I think is in here. And R Bass just beefs up the low end of things. Um, so so this. Nice. Those of you who are watching on mobile phones will, will not hear the difference there because mobile phones don't have very good low end has to be said um, however uh, that's fine twinkle, twinkle, okay twinkle, twinkle, Yeah, for those of you who are just joining me, I am going to do the rest of the two, not just this section, but we're starting with this section, and hello and welcome. Um, so then. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, that's fine. So there's like an A that goes underneath all of this. So I'm going to sing that A right now. So 
goes to a humming. I'm going to do some ooze now. And again. And this guy accidentally got comped. Cool, so I'm going to delete this a little bit. Okay. See how I attacked that? Because um, mm, it's like a it's kind of like a it's like it's like a moment, isn't it? It's the first moment where the harmony isn't really diatonic. So you want to just give people a little bit of fresh air or something like that. Twinkle, twinkle. Let's give these some life. Um, these ones here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pan them down here in alternate directions. All right. Nice. And uh, I, have not, I have an idea, I have an idea, which is uh, how I wonder, how I wonder. I'll leave those. So I might just get rid of the end of these guys. It's kind of like a change, a change of feel, isn't it? Uh, and I'm mute that guy. How I wonder. Some, some new tracks for this, of course. And that's going to be... Oh, what should we call this one? Um, oh, you know what? Just... How I wonder, but with an A. Wonder with an A, because... Wonder with an O would be... Would be obvious. And I'm going to record this with a bit of like a... Uh, kind of voice, because it sounds good, trust me. How I wonder, how I wonder, where did that? How I wonder, 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 how I wonder. How I wonder. Cool. How I and what about the octave above? You know, if I had if I had a girl here, I'd say you sing it. But I'm 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 on my own today. So here we go. How I wonder. How I wonder. How and that whoa, is sharp. But I'm just gonna do it again. How I wonder. So, so this is going to be, this is going to stay there. And all these guys are actually, they're mono. Because mono, I think for me, gang vocals are good in mono. So it's like, if that makes any sense. And uh, I'm going to add some new tracks.
<laughs> oh dear. I would say I woke up about two hours ago, so I'm still quite quite sleepy. Can't hit those high notes yet. Okay, what was that? Do we even need that? Maybe not. We don't need really that whiny. Very clever, Jacob, but, but no, not today. Call these chords. Big Ben fans? Big Ben. It's in London. It's a big clock. And it goes ding dong ding dong. Or thereabouts, kind of a similar, similar interval structure. Ding dong ding dong actually. Like a an eleventh bloom. What I like to call an eleventh bloom. Oh. 
Total run here. Oh, well, I'll put it in for now. So that's like dividing C and A into four notes instead of three. Mm. Anyway. Do more. Okay. Kind of like a sneeze, isn't it? can join this party. Other one's getting in the way, getting in the way, isn't it? doubled in tubular bells because it's close I have to Big Ben so tubular bells I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into um, Finder. I'm going to make a new window and I'm going to go into my samples folder and there's all sorts of interesting sounds here, um, like rain outside barn. Rain on leaves with thunder. Can you do that? Rain on leaves with thunder, just for that little bit because it's nice to sort of imagine that's like you wondering. You're wondering. How I wonder, and it's going to go, the rain falls, and then it's going to just stop out here. If I open that up there, and then I'm going to fade in and out. I'm going to keep it pretty low key so not many people will notice. About 3% of listeners will notice the rain. <laughs> Our wondering is complete. Oh, we haven't saved it. There you go. 
Um, and where should we save this? Let's save it in I Harm You. And let's save it as Twink. Good. Thank you guys for reminding me to save. You always help that process happen. <laughs> and doom, doom should be in the lower octave down voices. <laughs> like that. I'm going to record that now. Actually, I'm going to do that one more time because I forgot my D. And that's like this. Let's see if we can just add a bit of, but add a bit of welly down here. And the welly is this. Nice. And I'm actually going to put those, I'm going to put those two in a separate bus and I'm going to add a reverb to go with the rain. Because rain and reverb, so they go hand in hand. And, uh, and, uh, and here we go. So I'm going to make a new group. And this is going to be. Low verb. Okay, so let's see what they sound like right now. Sounds a bit weird. Let's add our bass and cut some high end. Yep. Cool, no one's gonna know, no one's gonna know. That's gonna feel. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, that whole section for a second and we're gonna move on and do the next portion of the tune. I'm gonna go up the octave. Is that right speed? Maybe a little bit slower. And um, I have an idea. I have an interesting idea. I wonder if you guys will approve. Like a... uh, I want to go to a. <laughs> I want to go to a key. Um, hello. I want to go to a key that doesn't exist. Please let me. Please let me. I'm going to go to F half sharp. And here's when I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. Like a diamond in the. There. Like so. I'm going to record this bit again. I'm going to see if I can pull it off. And it goes. Like a diamond in the sky. Yeah? The sky. The sky. Yeah, that's about right. The sky. Now I'm going to double check it. And you know we could we could go um we could we could now we could be in F sharp, couldn't we? Could we should we go up again? Should we do that? Um like a diamond in the sky twing. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Boys and girls. Let's do it, okay? I know you're with me. I know you're with me. Uh, so. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so this is like a semitone and a half down. Okay. 
That is F sharp, isn't it? Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, spontaneously we took a trip to G there which is the third new key in this song, so far. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Whoa. It's pretty high. Yeah. Um, twinkle. I'm thinking like a. Yeah. But maybe like a. Twink. 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 Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll do that. Twinkle. Yeah. Oh, we can change. We can always change this, okay? What's an outrageous chord we could do for this? Um. Uh, let's see. So we got. I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Is that sharp? It's a little bit, I'll go with me. That's not great though, is it? I'm gonna lift you up by about 24. Sounds better, sounds better, for sure, for sure. But I think now we've gone up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to create a new track. This is a new track and it's gonna be tuned, this is up about 20 cents. And then we have to get another one obviously for the F half sharp moment, which is up 50 cents. Luckily for me, Logic is extremely capable of such things as this and will accompany me on such journeys. Oh, you're, you're not seeing anything other than my face. I do apologize. Was that for this whole time? Oh my god. Um, looks according to my phone, looks like the stream is a uh, is slightly lagging. I apologize if there are some some connectivity to, uh, problems. I'm gonna I'm gonna plow on in in good faith. Be that doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> 
And now we're in G. Maybe we go to F. To kind of patronize the original key, you know, because it was like once you're in F and now you're in G. So I'm just going to visit F just to sort of pull your, uh, pull your um, hair. Let's see, one of these guys is sharp. This guy. actually going to be arriving back in uh, in E, doesn't it? But we're not. Should we, should we uh, repeat the last phrase potentially? Might be nice. I think we should actually maybe that's the that's the time where we do something. Let's do it in F.
So just to just to just to refresh your memory, we began this in F, and we have ended in F. But on the way, we've gone to F half sharp, F sharp, and G major. Uh, it's nice. editing So now let's harmonize this crazy middle section, shall we? Let's record the set double of this first. Funny, you get you get disconcerted, discombobulated when you start messing around with these half keys. That's what really is a key. Mm. Okay. Like a diamond in the sky. Is that right now? Yeah, that's bang on, bang on, Jacob, bang on. Half sharp. Who'd have thought? Like a in the sky. Okay. Like a Could be this chord. It's quite a nice chord. Like should, put, should we put it in? Or something, le something less crazy. Maybe this one. So that's, that's boring. That 
let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do to an A flat. Just do something simple for now, shall we? What have we got so far? Oh, I like that. Hmm, diamondy. You know why it's diamondy? Because oh, sorry, because that's quite bright, and then there's this note in it to like neutralise the whole thing. Quite strange, it's like adding cumin. So what course should we do here? So hello, welcome to F half sharp major. So some of you may not be familiar with F half sharp major. Now you are. like starting from scratch in this key because there's not your ear can't hear any pivots between that key and the previous one so you've got to just sort of go and I'm gonna go okay here are some questions this one or this one or this one For the first so far. We like that one. I quite like that one. Slightly darker green because we're less certain about it. The Mount Green equals certainty. So, I was quite happy with this. I think at the end. Can't see your comments, but still tell me. I like the, see, I like the E flat major. It's so pure and simple after all of this dense stuff.
that's nice. Why don't we just say that? And we could do a nice... Same thing in E flat. It's quite reassuring. Okay. Oh, we forgot. We did this whole bit. Let's just do this. Sounds promising. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder. Is it integrate that a bit? So let's do a pedal. Let's do a boom, go, go. And we can even add some like orchestral sounds or something. Okay, ready? Okay. So. Like a, uh, uh. Do, do you know what I'm doing? You know what I mean? Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. Lucky. As I'm in as I'm in that vibe, I'm gonna well there's a lot of tracks. Sometimes happens in this room. Bass. Where yeah. flat is not there yet. Okay. I apologize. I apologize. Let's just leave that for now. Okay. Twinkle. 
Look, I don't know why, Jacob. I don't know why you went flat here. Go. But I'm averse to it. So I'm going to put you right. 23 cents up. Twinkle. Oh. Okay, no worries. It's fine. Twinkle. guys can still see me it's saying it's a red connection that's kind of bad news is it looking okay i don't know fingers crossed it'll be all right <laughs> resulting thing. It's a bit weird digitally, but that's alright. Okay. motion here up okay See the problem. These guys are trying to be crystallizers and vocal tracks. Silly Billy. Ah, okay, and they're also trying to record with the Mojaves. This is why we didn't get much progress with those volumes. And we're gonna undo the solo and
let's, let's gospel it a tiny bit there. So Change my counting to two four. So um, I'm going to go and tell my family to stop watching YouTube videos. That might be the reason why the connection is bad. BRB. Yo, okay, okay. Here goes. So we were like gospeling. silence here isn't there not anymore oh muted the rest of the session I don't know how we did that Surprising that, isn't it? Now, which one do we decide we liked? Not, not that one. Oh, it was this. Cool. Up above the world, so high. Okay, that's something that like Laura Mavula would do, isn't it? Okay, there's a new chord. Simplify this. For it, I think we should do it. No, oh, I've got distracted. Up above the, up above the world. So Glockenspiel could help us here. Uh. Maybe it's a bit. Maybe it's a bit loud. Too loud. Potentially. Above. 
This is quite out outrageous. Um, oh, it's fine. Okay, that's probably enough. Oh, let me just make them into a group. Which is like, kind of like a... It's kind of like a... Regal additions. Know what I mean? It sounds like this. Up above the world, above so high, world, so high. Up above the world, so high. Nice. Up above the world, so high, so high. Up above the world, so high. And on top of all this, we're going to have like. You can't hear those notes. Okay, so let's do this. Chord, isn't it? Actually, it might be too heavy. Maybe it's too heavy. Maybe we should do something more like. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys would have done that in your sim. We, 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 we do like a. Uh. Oh, it's just a Herbie would do that. Yeah. Okay, let's let's record that. So sometimes I have to look underneath the webcam because this this webcam here. Hello, everybody. Is blocking uh, this portion of the screen. That's what's blocking. Anyway. Also, I should voice to myself that I only have about 45 more minutes because then I'm going to have supper with a friend. So we should probably get started on recording some of this stuff. But let's quickly add bass drum, orchestral bass drum, which I'm going to do in contact. Contact 5. And orchestral bass drums just work. And we're going to find these in bass drum. There we go. And actually, that's not my favourite one. My favourite one is in orchestral percussion, and it's in bass drum here. So there you go. Know what I mean? Again, all of you lovely listeners listening on your phones, I'm afraid that's going to go. Um, that that's going to be quite invisible to you unless you plug in your headphones. We could add some rain again. Add some more rain. Let's see if we can do slightly better than that chord. So 
it's like weird because it's like we're using this scale over like a G major. So it's like G linear over a C pedal, so it's C super linear. There was, maybe we should get like a piano sound. Let's get a piano sound. Stein. Okay. Great, like, like all the best music boxes, twisted. I'm gonna mute the regal editions for one second. Compress those. So I'm gonna take out this frequency here. So now we need to describe a diamond. How would you describe a diamond sonically? Maybe just like this. Or maybe not. Maybe something a bit more like this. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? To save time, I'm going to copy my initial sprinkle. Because that was nice, wasn't it? That triangle is a good one. So it's these guys. So actually, what we're describing at the beginning of the song is the diamond, not the tr not the uh, not the star. Where is that? And we can turn them right down. Wind chimes can stay up. Triangles can come That's the bell. Okay, great. And let's see how that sounds in context. Okay, triangle can be even less, and I'm going to add some because diamonds go to your imagination. I'm actually going to add them in a different place. I'm going to add them here. Just a little sigh of relief, isn't it? Like a diamond.
pointing that die to make your ear grab on it. <laughs> I like the sigh, but let's just make it a little bit less in your face. I don't want to breathe, I don't want to smell that breath. Change that chord. So we're gonna... Sure, the root. Done. There you go. See how that warms the fifth up pretty nicely. for doubling the third, forgive me. A diamond. Oh. oh no, diamond, sorry. That's nice reassuring. It's like a like a child's voice. See, so I'm still here, I'm still here, even though I've even though I've disappeared. Falling from the sky. So some voices are saying diamond in the sky, some voices are saying falling from the sky. So it depends up to you which one you want to listen to. I don't know how your day is going. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. 
I wish I could sing that today. I'd, I'd go more viral if I, did, if I could, but no. There's, actually, there's a way you can achieve um, la without singing it, which is by singing dum and dum at the same time. Some of your rangers may know this. There's a theory called sum, sum tone. Is it sum tone? I think it's called sum tone. It's to do with the harmonic series. And basically, if you sing do and do, which is the third and fourth respective harmonic of the note D, D flat, then what you get is the illusion of um, four minus three, which is one, which is the fundamental, and then three plus seven, sorry, three plus four, which is seven, which is actually like there, up there. Um, but you you won't notice that one so much. Um, basically, you get this this illusion of, of the lowest note of, yeah, four, four being the, four being, uh, the the tonic and three being the fifth basically if you do a low f a low fourth which is the interval of a fourth in a chord you get this rumbling illusion of a of a of the of the note below the actual root below uh, it's useful for voices and strings and other things like family members twinkle, twinkle. so i'm going to do that right now for you just to prove prove that uh prove my point oh. see if you um if you look at this camera for a second this button here Actually, it's really not very helpful, is it? This button here, which is the X button, beside the equals and the slash and the thing, that is my counting button in Logic, on off, and this is the click on and off. Um, um, that's one of a few different shortcuts that I've I've uh, adapted to suit my needs. One other one is that all the numbers are the tools. So one is cut, and two is fade, and three is rename, and five is automation curve, and various other things. Anyway, I'll plow on. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, counting on. Because I'm falling to the there note, which I already sang. And so I'm going to go twing. Mm. I'm going to hum it so you don't think it's a real note. Maybe this is not going to work. It's kind of there. You can kind of hear it, but you know what I'm going to do to save time? I could perfect that, but I'm going to... Oh, wait a second, something weird happened there. Twinkle. That's better. They were on the octave down ones. Twinkle. Oh dear. See that is a. I don't want to do that at all. It's a mistake. And why aren't you letting me go up there? How strange. I'm gonna paste you here, whether you like it or not. Twinkle. Oh, 
that's like a narrate. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's the problem. There's, there's, a, there's a sustain thing which is lagging on. There you go. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh. 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 Magical note missing from there.
Okay. Um, thank you for sticking around, by the way, you guys. It's uh, it's nice to nice to have you here. It's not that often I have company. Um, anyway, where were we? <laughs> Again, not again. We can just go to F major. Uh, we can cut that and that. This is uh, this is piano roll for those of you guys who aren't familiar. It displays my notes in little bars. A you and I type ending. Oh, that's good. minor thirds, couldn't we? We could do... No, I'm not going to do that. Because we've got... We do that, though. Ah. It's nice C, like a, a C13. That was it. Here we go. 
Let's listen to that. B is too bright for that last chord. You have to make it into a B natural. B flat, sorry. Okay, let's let's roll with that, shall we? Should we roll with that? in time, if you'll forgive me. That's like a... I'll leave it for now. Let's do the bass. cheeky but I'm just gonna copy and paste some of it
Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder. I think we need to tame this beast. How I wonder. 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 That might be a nice place to start, just to add a nice. some of this stuff. I'm just basically going to fill in. Now is the time for filling in. Um, and geez Louise, I think it might be late for this dinner.
Sorry. Here we go. F. Actually, uh, a bit of a mess there. Chromatic line there. Chromatic lines are always the best, aren't they? Another chromatic line. It's a bit shorter. You may notice that I'm a fan of using no count in whatsoever. Um, I once was recording with a uh, Tori Kelly, who's a good friend of mine, and uh, I gave her like half of a beat as a count in, and she she looked at me and she she said, "Jacob, I'm not a robot." And I sort of I said, "Okay, no, it's fair enough, Tori. It's fair enough. I I uh, I'll give you a count in." But when it comes to myself, I try and challenge myself to have no count in. That's as much count in as I'm giving myself. Not much. Maybe I'll stay in the E. Yeah, I'll stay in the E. Yes. Do you guys know the poet Gwendolyn Brooks? You should check out Gwendolyn Brooks. Um, unbelievable poetry. Uh, a new favourite poet of mine. Just found some poems online the other day. Just came into my head. You should you should read you should read them. There's one called uh, Children of the Poor, which I really really like a lot. <laughs> Some notes, shall we? Uh, 
Too much, too dense, too dense. Let's see what's missing here. Don't you? tune this seventh properly so what happens is if I explain this it goes I'm seeing the B flat here and he goes and as I demonstrated I think in the previous live stream as I'm sure you're watching then as well basically the third goes goes but the 
is actually flatter. So it's like. That's the difference, that buzzing. And I'm going to go. Which is, believe it or not, the difference. So. Let me show you. Oh, it's on this track though, isn't it? Oh, then it's actually a break, isn't it? You may think, Jacob, that's out of tune. You may learn. That I am in fact... I'm on track to be in tune, aren't I? I get flat just at the very end. It's this here. That last little bit, I'm going to rise you by, say, 11. 11 cents. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Isn't that? That's very in tune. It might sound out of tune to you, but it's in tune to physics, apparently. my friend and say, yo, I'm going to be late. Talk amongst yourselves. You can watch me, you can watch me close up if you want. I shall, you know, I'll just play the arrangement for you to listen to. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder who, who, how, how I want you, wonder what you are. Can we pop it like this together now? This is coming together. How do you make a rainbow? Skittles? Jelly beans or something. So first of all, I have a jelly bean. Sorry for all of you guys who want one. Here you go. Help yourself. And in the meantime, I'm going to think of a way to make a rainbow appear. I know a couple of recipes for rainbow. One is this. Hmm, 
green one. It's really good. Rainbow, you think? Where's the rainbow? And then I say, well, I'm going to pan them all hard. Hmm. And I'm going to add a high percentage of reverb using Space Designer. Actually, you know what I need to do first? Oh. No. Tap. Space Designer. And then I'm going to do high percentage of reverbs like that, uh, like that, and then up, and then add some pre delay. <laughs> There goes a rainbow. Glockenspiel, something needs to be sprinkled here. Interesting quality, doesn't it? Makes it a sharp five chord with a sharp nine as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's nice, isn't it? So like E, e flat major over B with a D and a F in it, and then E seven over B with a B flat at the top. Again, which was, what was it? okay. Oh, this is nice. This is fun. Um, we're two and a half hours in, so blimey, if you're still watching, then you are a superhero, um, just like me. Uh, joking. All right, here we go. Oh uh -huh. 
Loki. That's very satisfying. Guess what? How oh, I know what you are. Oh, sorry, that D was a bit sharp, wasn't it? And that can live in Pyramid Sprinkle. Where does that end up going? Pyramid? Where are you? Pyramid Time. Oh, here we are. Need some more tracks. And... In we go. My bad. See, my bad. No need of said extra tracks. Cool. And we can fade out nicely there. If you go off and have your supper. to the rainbow. Very nice. There you go.
Okay, nice. to bring it to life a bit. Oh, oh. Oh. give myself a deadline Jacob you have 15 more minutes because then it'll be three hours of a live stream which is already quite a long live stream and I'm gonna be so late um, but I think it's gonna be okay and I think we're getting quite close so let's have another listen and populate where, where need be um, and uh, yeah here we go thanks for stopping by by the way and another massive shout out to Bart Bart Orr for doing this whole challenge for setting up this Twinkle Twinkle the Star challenge I'm very very much looking forward to all of your submissions this does not end here there are more still to come Thousands even, potentially. So get get to it and post a hashtag Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Challenge. Um, harmonizations or versions or variations on um, this song because because it's a nice song and because it's good vibes. Here we go. Something needs to happen there, doesn't it? Twinkle That's a bit of a dull intro. Twinkle mm -hmm. Twinkle Twinkle Twinkle, twin, 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 tw
change this harp sound. I do like the idea of it, but I'm going to change it to a Celeste sound. Because Celeste is slightly warmer. And actually, I know where I'm going to find a good Celeste sound, and that is in Keyscape. Big up Keyscape, Spectrosonics. Uh, this is an Omnisphere, obviously, but it's running inside Omnisphere and Celeste. Here we go. How's that sounding then? That's the harp still. Celeste. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to put down an octave. Actually, sound nice together. Maybe we'll leave it like that. How I wonder. How I Those guys aren't welcome with this gospel thing. How How Tasty. Yeah. Oh, that, that, 
know it's good, isn't it? F sharp. <laughs> I can stay there all good at eat. And then we got And just a reminder of this that we added at the beginning. That, the rain and bass. I still feel it in my heart. And there's a different one in different track as well. Where are you? There you are. And those guys as well. Okay, come on, let's do this. Some, uh, some space designer to that. And then I'm going to do this thing where I go. And I'm going to 
stretch the end of all these files to last longer. Twinkle, 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 so reverb output, automate, down. Feeling good now. To race through this a little bit. Let me see, I've got one, one minute. Twin breaths. Twin. You always have to breathe out to so breathe in for these. Twinkle, twinkle. Celeste is pretty, but I'm actually going to turn him down a little bit because he's nice, but not that nice. Twinkle, twinkle. And some curtails here. Twinkle, twinkle. But that's going to be super quiet. Super quiet. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh
Just received a text from my uh, my date today saying that it's fine if I'm late. Well, that it's okay. So I'm going to be like five more minutes because there are a couple of things I need to do still. For example, timpani. It's great. I've been writing a lot of orchestral music recently for a reason I'm not going to tell you. And uh, for that reason, my ears are quite attuned to orchestral sounds. So I keep hearing things like glockenspiel, uh, Tubular bells and timpani and lots of different things. Twinkle, twinkle. Let's put these things in time. This is nudging. Whenever I do this like really fast typing thing, it's called nudging. That means I'm nudging. I nudge a thing left and right to get in time. Sharp, mate. I would re-record you, but there's not much time, so I'm actually going to do minus 18. And my job. Cool. And then the other guy. Bingo. <laughs> Lower, lower in the body. Oh, maybe I can just add them to the octave downs. Oops. Got mixed up. C is too much. I think it's the first how, isn't it? Yeah, goodbye. That's cool, isn't it? And then I'm going to turn you down a little bit. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder.
a breath there, isn't there? Okay, let's just make this a little bit longer back here and do the crossfade and It's nice regal additions, but First of all, you're going to be stereo and you're going to be turned down. It's not your fault. Slightly ahead of the game here, aren't you, man? And we want to have a, a diamond at the end, don't we, as well? Noise. Oh, it might be in these ones. Oh. Could it be? There it is. Slow rainbow. Okay. Someone smashes that down, didn't they? Who is that? That guy. Searching for noises. It's all. It's what I want to be doing on Friday afternoon. Let's listen to this from the top because we are now over three hours, and let's have a listen and see how we're doing. I think we're pretty much done. The bell's quite loud, isn't it? It's going to be stubborn.
there guys just got a little diamond at the end but without the bells and the triangle I think this time. and the breaths it's just, it's just the tinkles And then 44 can be our line of ending. Just there. And we have a pretty finished twinkle twinkle little star. Okay, one more listen for fine tuning and then I will let you go and I will run to, uh, to have my dinner. Okay, first of all, bass. <laughs> Didn't get very far through that run through, did we? Videoing it just slowly. And your fa la la la, I appreciate you as well, but. There you are. You're not even in a party, are you? Let's add you to more. Yes, you are.
just when you think you've finished, you know? Twinkle. Oh, breaths. of the note is about 12 cents flat. Feels good. You know, add some reverb on the master bus. I never do that, but you know, it's t -t -t. Add some pre delay. T -t -t -t. Okay, I'm gonna try not to do anything now. I think this is, might be our final, our final listen through. Um, here goes Twinkle Twinkle the Star, arranged by Jacob's YouTube channel. Twinkle. Twinkle, little star, how I wonder. It's pretty good. One thing I want to do though. I want to warm this up with some Celeste.
well now. Um, thank you so much for coming. That was really fun. Um, so I sort of whizzed through at the end because I, I know I was going to be late and uh, all is well. It's all good. Um, but what a treat for my mango and I to have you uh, hanging out with us uh, in this room. I do this all day for about 18 hours and uh, join me whenever you like. I'm in London. Uh, and uh, thank you so much again, once, once again, for, for Bart, Bart Orr, for, for this Tunkle Tunkle Star Challenge. You guys should go and do it too. I'm going to make a, a video to go with this later on when I get back from my, my dinner uh, and put it up onto my social media channels, which is something I, I do uh, sometimes. Anyway, uh, all is well. And um, thank you for thank you so much for, for stopping by and, and for taking such a lot of time out of your day to, to watch me do this. Um, this will be available after this for you to go back and, and look at different bits if, you, if you'd like to. Um, but um, yeah, it's so lovely that I can do this and, and you guys hang out and listen. It's, it's like a massive honour and a treat for me. Um, so thank you. Um, have fun harmonising this song because this challenge is hot right now. So get, get on it. Um, so hot right now, as Hansel would say, right? Yeah. And um, so I think it's time for me to go and brush my teeth and head out. Um, I'm just going to quickly turn off my, uh, my fairy lights. No, that was kind of kind of failed. But anyway, um, thank you for coming. Uh, this will be up later, and you rock, absolutely rock. Um, you're 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 tremendous. Um, see you very soon. I'm just going to see if you're actually even here. Looks like you are. Ah, oh, nice. Um, cool. Well, that's a lot of comments in in one go. Um, thank you so much for coming. Good, you guys have a lovely one. Happy 2018, and see you very soon.